Hey. Yes, now I hope you are feeling better. Hi guys, welcome. We're gonna hold on a little bit more. I'm gonna turn some more light on in a little bit. But um, we're going to hold on a little bit more. See what else is coming. Remember tonight, come as you are. Yes, come as you are. Yes. Yes, guys. I'm going to pause this for a little bit. Yes, and I'm going to come right back at you guys. Okay guys, so I am back, I am back. Alright. Hey Jaden. Woo. Yeah, so we're back. And Naya, I really hope and trust that you get better soon. I know a lot of um, she's not feeling well. I know a lot of craziness is happening these days. Yeah, the devil is trying to tamper with our children. But um, keep the faith. Don't lose hope. You're gonna be better. Mm -hmm. Yes, remember that um tonight. As usual, we're going to have our quiz and we're going to speak a little, about, a little bit about um, the topic, come as you are, and then if you have anything that you'd like to speak about, any questions that you'd want to ask if you think we can handle it, <laughs> or you just ask if we don't know it, we are going to get it. You see the same thing I said, come as you are? Look at this child. Come, come put on your t-shirt, come. Yes. Come as you are. He's coming as he is, but he surely isn't going to stay as he is. <laughs> All right. So this child, um, <sighs> can say these children I must say can say that they had um, a very good uh, school um, break that did not have to very good vacation that did not have to end. I know Nathaniel don't want to go back to school Natalia don't want to go to school Alexia was crying was making noise that she don't want to go to school either so pull up her pants yeah, she don't want to go to school either. But um, <laughs> guys, this child is making fun because 
<laughs> and put his two, his two legs in one. No, like you want to stay like that? Yes. You going to show them how you look? Yeah, I did. I look. Stand up, come. <laughs> show them how it's going. Up, how you look. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Fashion train man. Yeah, that's a little bit. This thing go like this. This thing got my arm. Yes. Um Yeah, Nate, you don't come change it. Before you fall on. This is that. Come put the one put in this one. Put it on properly. That's not telling you that so. Yes, so Nate, you don't want to go to school, I'll, as I was saying. I'll, I'll but yes, tonight we are here I'll go school. and. I'm going to go to school. You're going to go to school? Yes. Woo, high five. I'm not going to go to school too. Sorry. Yes, everybody is going to school. Yes, so we are together again tonight and we're going to sing our little chorus. You can play, you know, you want to play, you want to play everything. You want to play everything? Yeah, because we're running out the gate or something. Okay. And then come back and say, see you again, guys, see you again. And then come back and say, security guard, guys, keep inside. That's right. Yeah, and security I, guard is doing a good job. And then tell them to go back and say, right. Because she didn't want to wear the teeth, yeah. Right? So, we are together again. Just praising the Lord. That's we right. are together again. Yes, we are together mm -hmm. again. That's how I say everything for God. Say everything for God? Everything for God. Everything for God. And you think God is different today. God bless us. No. God bless us. Yes, that's right, Nati. God bless us. Everything is for God. Who sing it? I don't know it. Everything for God is so a good day today for God. Today we want to do it right now. Okay, let's do it. That's it? Yeah. That's how we to sing it? Everything for God. Everything for God. Everything. Everything for God. We got to do it right now. That's it? Yes. Okay. So guys, that's... Let's see the Bible now. See the Bible? Yeah. The Bible is over there. Guys, it seems like it's I have a the new... Bible song. The Bible song. The Bible song? Yeah. It seems like we have a new moderator tonight. So we are going to sing the Bible song for him. The B-I-B-L-E. That song? The B. The B-I-B-L-E. No, but the big, but the big boss, the big boss. A, a, it's a big boss here. Uncle Michael, And it's a new day for, for, for bees to come out. And it's a big boss. Oh, the big boss. Okay. So I learned that in school. You learned that in school? Yeah. Very good. Guys, it seems like this. This um this life is going in a different direction because Nate is taking over. But yes, um good night Mona. Good night to everybody. Yeah. That. What is what? That that he's that glass thing. What is in the glass? That yes. Thing? It seems like I have to put Nate to sleep, eh? That's the water. No, this is good water. Come drink some water and we'll sit down. Okay, so yes, Nati. Hi, Marissa, welcome. So, yes, guys, um, I was going to say Psalm 121. Remember, whenever we are feeling down, right? If we can remember Psalm 121, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills from whence come at my help. Yeah, guys, that is um, a psalm that we can always reflect on whenever things seems to be going wrong. 
Yes, guys, welcome to our live tonight. I notice we have 15 people and I'm seeing nine thumbs up. So don't forget when you join the live to support us by giving us a thumbs up. Yes, tonight we have some simple Yes, Sarah. <laughs> Tonight we have some simple um, Bible verses. Hey, woo, woo, woo. You know, I was sitting down and I was um, wondering what, what, um, where basically I should take my quiz from. And I was sitting there and Jonah came to mind. You know the Bible story um, about Jonah? Very simple story something that we would have been that we would have grown up here in those of us yeah who would have grown up before my time and during my time we know that the jonah story nathaniel if you want to sit here you gotta stop doing that and keep quiet right okay. don't put your hand in your mouth oh. right yes the jonah story is something that hey hey and uh, not close <laughs> just now Yes, the Jonah story is something that we grew up with till at one point I was afraid back mm. in the days during um, the dry season mm. when the pipes stop run and we have to go over the tank to draw water as we say. I used to be scared to go there in the night because I would think that Jonah would be in the tank to pull me in. Also, if I have to go in the sea all in the morning I never wanted to go in the sea because I am thinking that I'm going to meet Jonah and that whale in the sea. Oh, yes, okay. guys. Netty, Netty, no, 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 no. Netty, no, not tonight. Mm -hmm. If you want to stay here, you got to stay and behave, okay? Okay? You're going to be here? Okay. Yes. You're going to be here? Okay, because you can't distract me tonight. Else I'm going to go for. Mr. Belt inside there and beat you right on the life. Yeah, he, he's on a mission, but he's getting miserable. When he sees himself on the screen, yes, he's doing all sort of stuff. Yeah. So yes, Natalia as well has um, some questions, some general knowledge question. And guys, Natalia has agreed. I'm going to test her tonight. She is going to do a little impromptu, impromptu speaking. Last evening we had the Paget Farm Police Youth, well, not, we no longer known as Paget Farm Police Youth Club, <laughs> but the Paget Farm chapter of the Becker Police Youth Club, we had our in-house um, uh, public speaking competition. Uh, and I want to shout out to all the members of the club and especially to those who participated, uh, to those judges who came, um, Mr. Simmons, Otwin Simmons, Joanna Stowe, Mrs. Bino, Danica Bino. I want to say big up to you guys for um, mm -hmm. agreeing to come to be with us, even though the notice was short. Yes, that's what we love, yes, community <laughs> service. So yes, we're going to start the quiz. I'm going to let Natalia go first. Yeah. She has some general knowledge, and then I'm going to get into... The story of Jonah. Mm -hmm. How do you this? <laughs> Just ask the question and then. Okay. What is the world's smallest country? What is the world's What is the world's smallest country? Natalia, you're distracting. What is the world's smallest country? That's Natalia's question. Mm -hmm. Nitty, come here. Let me you have a, a conversation. Come. Trying to get What is the 
kali. Just one more question, then I'll give the answer. Okay. Jeannie King and um, and Auntie Beverly, you are both correct. Woo. Guys, to be honest, I didn't even know that one. I just did. It is just like yeah. Vatican City. Yes. Yeah. Hi, hi, Beverly. Hi. Vivian said, What's thank you? <laughs> Vivian, I told her, um, what have I told you? Pity St. Vincent. <laughs> Why is that? PSV. Yeah, next question. What are the first, wait, what are the first three books of the Old Testament? Now look at the camera and ask again. What is the three first, wait, what is the three first book of the Old Testament? What are the first three books of the Old Testament? That. <laughs> okay, one What are the first three books of the Old Testament? That is what she's doing. You have to throw her out the classroom. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. Just one more person. Hey Naya. Nathan, me and you just had a conversation, innit? Okay, sit down properly. Alright. Okay, so Beverly answer Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Vivian. Okay, woo 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 and Auntie Beverly, you are both correct. Third question. What is the capital of India? What is the capital of India? Yes, Mona. Yes, Mona. That music. Okay, guys, okay. we muted because there was a vehicle um, out there with a lot of music. Yeah. So the answer is New Delhi or whatever it is. So Beverly got it right. Mumbai, so Mona now came in, New Delhi. Yeah. Yes. The final question. We had muted for a while because there was um, a vehicle outside that was playing some loud music, so we couldn't really Talk. even hear ourselves clearly. Yeah. Last question. Are we back now? I believe so. Last question. What is the capital of France? Mm -hmm. What is the capital of France? Mm -hmm. I must have said letter. Letter. Yeah, not capital letter, here. Yeah? But I say, wait. I know it. You know it? Yeah. Okay. It, it is a new letter. It yes. is a number. Okay. Yes. So Paris, Paris. Woo 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 and Auntie Beverly, you are both correct. Woo woo, come in, um, reaching mm -hmm. fast there tonight, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All of you said Paris, you are correct. Okay, so is that the end of your, your segment? Yep. Okay, so that's the end of Natalia's segment her general knowledge segment mm -hmm. so remember guys stay tuned because Natalia is going to be doing impromptu I am going to be giving her some questions Thanks, some topics sorry and
she would have to select yeah she would have to select a topic from the bag and she's gonna speak on it tonight yep oops all right so yes remember i was talking about jonah you know as i was saying we grew up talking about jonah and the whale so the book of jonah very short book so here comes the, the music again <laughs> Yeah, there's a vehicle with some sort of music playing. Okay, gone up the hill. Yes, guys, so before I continue, let me, um, if you're looking here and you're in Beckway, or uh, if you're planning to be on Beckway on the 19th, and you have um, regatta at heart, then uh, don't forget there's a meeting that will be taking place at the Beckway Anglican Primary School at 5 p.m., Yes, it's basically concerning uh, the revitalizing of the Beckwith Sailing Club, which we basically, we really, really need the Beckwith Sailing Club because we need to have Beckwith's regatta, Beckwith Sailing tradition back up and running. Can kids join? Yeah, anybody can come to the meeting. All right, I'm coming there. <laughs> you, you would be in, on a boat. Yes, so... Okay, somebody was saying they have a riddle, so if you have a riddle, just type it in there and we'll get back to it. But um, where the book of Jonah is concerned, I have 10 very easy questions. And I'm going to start. The first one is, where did God ask Jonah to go to deliver his message? Where did God ask Jonah to go to deliver his message? Jonah. You forget about Jonah and them? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, he just swallowed by a whale. Okay. Nineveh. Nineveh. You guys are correct. I remember when it was small, used to sing this song Jonah gone to Nineveh, to Nineveh, to Nineveh. Jonah gone to Nineveh to warn his worthless children and he warned them and he told them the coming of the Lord was near. Hey Dada, welcome. Uh, yes, in Nineveh. So Jonah went, was asked to go to Nineveh. Okay, so Jonah was asked to go to Nineveh, but we know that Jonah was trying not to go to Nineveh, but he got on a boat in an effort to get away from delivering God's message. So where did he go, or where did he try to go instead of going to Nineveh? Hey, good night, Dada. Where did, no hear me Noah. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to write that riddle down, eh? Where did Jonah, instead of going to Nineveh, right? Remember, initial, initially, he should have been going to Nineveh, but he tried to get away from going to Nineveh because he didn't want to go there because of the disobedience of the people. So he was scared to go to Nineveh, and he tried to get away. And he got on a boat and he was heading to a different place. Where is that place? Joppa? No, yes, he's too away on a ship. Where was that ship going to? It wasn't Joppa or Joppa. Where was that ship going to? Odin. Where was that ship going to? It wasn't Joppa or Joppa. I'm not sure if we are pronouncing that word correctly. Yes, guys, don't forget when you join the live, give us a thumbs up. If you're looking on your television, you can use the up button, get up to the, the parts where you're seeing the thumbs up. 
to Israel. No, it wasn't Israel. He wasn't going to Israel. Where was he going to instead of going to Nineveh? He thought he could have um, gotten away from God. So he hid in the ship. Yes. And the ship was going. Hey, good night, KJ. The ship was going somewhere that is not Nineveh. Okay, let me give you a clue. It starts with a P. Nitty. Sorry. Yes, sorry. It starts with a T. He was going to. Okay, so Casas. Okay, let me see if anybody else. You, I understand what you what you mean. Hi, Hi Naya. Hi. Yes. Let me see if anybody else is gonna attempt that. Casas, Tashish. Okay. So I, all three of you, I know you're basically referring to the same thing. Yes, he was going to Tashish, right? He was going to Tashish because he was trying to basically to hide from God, not to take that message to the people of Nineveh, okay? So those who said Tashish are Tashas. I know what you mean. You are correct. Remember I said Jonah, the book of Jonah is a very short book. How many chapters are in the book of Jonah? How many chapters are in the book of Jonah? Okay, now we're going to keep you in prayers. Yes, and we know that you're going to be better. You're going to be better. School opens soon. So, four, four. Okay. Anybody has any different number? Okay, it seems that everybody so far is agreeing that it's four books in the, in the book of Jonah, four chapters in the book of Jonah. What if I tell you guys you're wrong? Hey, I'm not saying Bertiel girl. I hope that she's doing okay. Not seeing Ruby either. I hope you guys are okay. Yes, and I'd like to shout out to all my fans. Yeah, all those of you here on the island who are meeting me and basically telling me that you're you're enjoying what we're doing here on this channel. Big up to you. Continue watching and don't be afraid to participate. Nettie? Naya and Michael is saying to drink lots of liquid. So you are correct, guys. It's only four chapters in the book of Jonah. You are correct. So the next question is, what did Jonah tell the sailors to do? Remember when they were going, right? Because he was hiding. He think he could have, he, he was hiding from God. There was a mighty wind, right? The water got rough and the sailors, they were throwing things off the boat. They were throwing off wares and all that sort of stuff. And Jonah basically was in the belly of the ship. He was down in the, in the ship and he was sleeping while all this was happening. But they went and they awakened him or they woke him up. And when they woke him, what, what did Jonah tell them to do? What did Jonah tell them to do after he basically confessed to them what um, he was doing? What? Sorry, I just hear somebody crying in the neighborhood. I think those children are... Yeah. What did Jonah ask them to do to him? Remember he was on the ship sleeping when the water get rough, got rough. And
No, Naya, that's not what he said. Put him off the ship. Right? Put him off the ship, yes. Or throw him, throw him overboard. Cast him overboard. Yes, because, um, yes, so he asked them to basically put him off the ship, which means they have to throw him overboard. Right? And when they did that, they realized the water became calm. But we know that before they did that, they were trying different things. They were praying to the various gods and all of that. But when they did as Jonah asked, things became calm for them. Okay? So then according to the Bible, what happened? What did God prepare when Jonah was thrown into the sea? What did God prepare for Jonah when he was thrown into the sea? Remember, he was thrown into the sea and something happened. What was that that happened? Hey, King Daya. Naya, you're not going to die. Okay, show me a whale. Okay, you said a whale. Blows. Natalia said blows. Nitty, that's not nice. You're not drinking all. That is her water. She's drinking all. Yes, that is her one. That's yours. This is mine. I'm not, I'm you want mine? Uh-uh. Okay, so you said a whale, a big fish. Blows. Okay, so he didn't specify. The Bible didn't specify it's a whale, but we, what they actually put there in the stories, they show us a big whale swallowing Jonah. But yes, it said a fish. So he placed a fish there to basically swallow Jonah. It was a fish? Yes, it was a fish. It just said a fish. Wow. Right? Wow. So how long was he in the fish's belly and what did he do while he was there? How long did Jonah spend in the belly of the fish? And what did he do while he was there? Wait, I have a question. Mm -hmm. How did he survive without eating and drinking for three days? Because God is the one who um, made that happen. So, three days, you can fast for three days. So he okay, you give away the, the answer. Three okay. days. My water. Okay, careful with the laptop. Sorry. Three days and three days and three nights basically. Yeah. Yes, he was. So what was he doing while he was in the belly of the fish? What was he doing there? I remember it. No, you were reading my question. Stop it. I am watching your questions. He was relaxing himself. Natalia, see he was relaxing himself. What was he doing while he was in the belly of the fish? I don't want to answer. That way. He was praying. Very good. He was praying. Careful around the laptop with the water. Sit down first. Sit down and relax. He was praying. So you guys are correct. He was praying. Very good. Yep. Okay, so remember that the fish spat, vomited Jonah out and he found himself on Nineveh after the three days and the three nights he was vomited out and uh, in Nineveh where he was running from, right? right. And uh, God uh, gave him a message to deliver and he gave the people of Nineveh a certain amount of days to repent if not, you know, there would have been destruction. Yes, three days and three nights. So how many days mm -mm. did God give the people of Nineveh to repent? Soon he was vomited out, so he had mucus on him. I don't know. Thank you. Yes, he was praying. So how long did God give the people of Nineveh to repent? Relax, don't distract me.
Yes, how long did he give the people of Nineveh to repent? Anybody wants to try that one? I would love to. King Daya, I'm not sure if it's me you're asking how are you, but if it's me, I'm okay. If it's Natalia, I'm fine. Yes, I had a very eventful week. I had a very relaxing week. Very. The school break for these children. Ah, seven days to repent. No. No, father stop the do. No. Too short. No, it wasn't seven days. You remember we were talking about um forty days. Forty days. I was just going to say, remember when we were talking about the how many days were the forty days where with um easter is concerned and stuff like that yeah and they were saying it was 40 days the reason why they use 40 days is because 40 days has been um used in the bible so many times for different things nathaniel is playing and he's distracting me yes yeah, so yes 40 days okay we are coming close to the end of the, the quiz. I can't wait for my turn. Okay. So. No, 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 no. So we were told, right, when Jonah took the message, God's message to the people of Nineveh, that everybody believed God's message. And then the king did something, right? After the king heard the message and he believed, what did the king do? What did the king do? Mm -hmm. When the king um, heard a message and basically they believed what Jonah was saying, yes, that it was a message from God, what did he do? Question. Oh, Natalia. Depends. Yes, what did? Okay, you're basically um, on the right line. To, dra to dress in sackcloth with ashes, it. something so. Yes, depends. I don't know what it is. Okay. So, anybody else? Naya, I think you guys are trying to prank us. Remember not to call wolf, eh? Because there are times that we call wolf. And when wolf comes, sometimes you'll be sorry. Because when wolf comes, nobody would believe that the wolf is there. If it's really there. Take, right, took off his robe. Okay, so you guys are basically on track. Yes, he removed his robe and he dressed himself in sackcloth and he sat in ashes. Yes. Why? As a sign of repentance, basically. Yeah. So that's what he did. It seems that some people's... um. Internet is lagging. So, the next one. What is the name of the city Jonah went before going to Tarshish? Remember, he went to the city where he took the boat. What was the name of that city? I think um, if you were paying attention, somebody mentioned the city earlier. Um, that's where he went and uh, boarded the ship before he boarded the ship. Cora, no, somebody mentioned um, the city, mentioned it earlier. Somebody mentioned it earlier. It starts with a J. It 
starts with a J. What is the name of the city Jonah went before boarding that ship? Jopa, you got it. You got it. And the last question. The last question. If you guys haven't seen what he, well, you would see it. But the answer, Jopa, Jopa. Hey, what's up, girl? We were just asking about you. Yes, Jopa. Yes, uh, Jopa. You are correct. So we have the last question of the Jonah quiz, and that's who was Jonah's father? Who was Jonah's father? Who was Jonah's father? Guys, and don't forget to give us a little thumbs up. Yes, and share the video. Let others know that we are here. Who was Jonah's father? My name is Joyan. Hi, Joyan. Who is Joyan? Yes, so her name is Joyan. I know her name is Joyan. Ami Tai. Yes, I can't really pronounce the name, but yes. Yes. You are correct, Mona Andrews. You are correct. So basically, we have come to the end of that quiz. Yeah, the Jonah quiz. Ami Yes, trust me. I don't know if I could pronounce the name, but you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm a Thai. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, so Beverly has the correct spelling. I'm a, I'm a Thai. I'm a Thai. <laughs> yes, guys, so trust me, as I said um, in previous videos, this this um these quiz they are basically helping when it comes to the bible yeah this program basically sends me to the bible i'm not ashamed to say i don't sometimes i forget to read a scripture every day <laughs> and stuff like that but um getting into the research it sends me takes me to different um verses so Yes, um, Sarah and Naya, to be honest, I'm not sure what to make of um, what's happening. If somebody is pranking us, I'm not sure. I'm hoping they're pranking us. Yes, I'm not sure if you guys are pranking us because um, last week Naya was saying that she's 14 years old. <laughs> Beverly, um, I, I really don't know if somebody passed. I don't know what's happening. But um, I think if somebody passed, then I'd have to go to Facebook <laughs> and see if anybody posts anything. But I think um, whatever is happening there is a prank. If you're referring to what we're seeing on the live here. Yeah, I think Naya is just fooling around. Or something like that yeah but yes the the topic that we have tonight come as you are right before I get into that actually I'm going to test Natalia's right Natalia has agreed for me to put her on the spot so guys pay attention because from your can see what I'm doing right there I am going to give Natalia a topic to speak on and she's going to get one minute to prepare herself and then she's going to get two minutes to present. So like, you're judging me soon? I have two voices for you. 
listeners to take home Matthew 5, 23 to 24 and Matthew 5, 44. Okay, I'll check them out in a little bit. Okay, Natalie, I'm going to, I have them here ready, so I'm just going to number it. One and two. Right, so you're going to pick a paper. And if you pick number one, I'll tell you what number one is. Mm -hmm. If you pick number two, I'll tell you what number two is. All right, so. <laughs> so guys, my father's left two verses here. Let me see what they are. Matthew 5, 23 to 24. Niti? Okay, Matthew 5, 23 to 24 says, Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, and there rememberest that thy brother has aught against thee, leave there thy gift before the altar, and then come and offer thy gift. It. Yes. Okay. Oh yes, I know that. Um, I know that verse because we hear that verse in church. Basically, we hear those verses in church every Sunday. Basically, Matthew five forty four. I but I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you. Nathaniel. Do go to them that hate you and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. So those are the verses that my father is asking for you guys to take home. Right? So Nathaniel, you're going to give us a little hearing. Nathaniel, you're going to come back here now. Come. So guys, pay attention. I have two topics. And Natalia is going to choose a number here and paper. Um, just pick a paper. Just one. Okay, let me see what number is this. Number one. <laughs> and the number one topic you need to write or you're just thinking? I need to write. Okay, let me give you a paper. The number one topic, let me get my timer, is cell phones. Cell phone. Right? Cell phone is Natalia's topic. Right? So let me give you, let me put on my timer. Hold on there. Let me put on Natalia. Let me give you my timer. Okay, go. She has one minute to think about how to prepare herself. And then, Matthew 544 is a hard one because them snakes, you know. Okay. That is true, that is true. Um, yeah, you can use this. You go and prepare your topic. Go. I'm again. Go on the table and write, go. Yeah. Yes. Trust me. I write this up. Actually, no, I have it in my head, but I just write it mine. Love your enemies. Love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Well, guys, I actually, my enemies, I prefer them. You understand? I pray for my enemies. I pray for my enemies. Not that I cannot look at anything on the screen. Yes. What? My hands press something. One minute, finish. See it. See it. Look at it. Yeah. Very good, Nancy. Very good. Very good. 
Neti? It doesn't. It doesn't. You make me um. Huh? Hold this. Natalia's doing something. Just ease over a little bit. Natalia has to come and say something. Yeah, guys. So Natalia's going to speak on cell phone. It's impromptu. So she's just getting her information together. But somehow. Okay, Natalia, you one minute. I believe it's up. This, right. is, this is number one. This is number one. Hold on, Nettie, come. Natalia is going to speak. Hey. Natalia? This is number one. Okay. Nettie, come on this side. Let Natalia come closer. Come on this side. This is number one. Okay, Natalia. So, let me put back on my, my timer. I'm going to tell you for two minutes. All right. Go ahead. Cell phones can be useful nowadays and they can also be bad on children. Okay, the next step. Cell phones can be good for sending messages to your friends who are far away. But it, kids often kids often get um, addicted to it and they won't do their schoolwork and stuff that their parents tell them to do. And they will go on their phone and watch and all kind of stuff. But cell phones can be good too. They say look at the camera, Natty. So come up a little closer. Mm -hmm. Okay, but cell phones can be good too in case of learning if you need help with your homework or math, yeah, homework and stuff. But nowadays, young people just use it for all sets of wrong things and uh, other stuff. And uh, yeah. Okay, so Natalia has spoken. <laughs> yes, that's all I can say. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, I lost track of my timer, but she has spoken for a minute, for close to two minutes. So, what do you think about Natalia's um, presentation? Let me see. She should know what to write from last week's debate, yes? When was the first cell phone was made available to the public? Hey, when was that? Beckwick, hey Beckwick Kitty. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Yes, that what I was thinking. Naya, then um, you need to get another puppy. Howdy, we're good, um, we're good, um, Beckwick Kitty. We are good in the house here. Yeah, he was saying, look at the camera, that sounds very familiar. One of Natty's morbid obsession. That's true. Huh? I my love of You can still give them a drink of water, Beverly. Yes. So how do you think um, Natalia did in her public speaking? Even though I was expecting to hear her say, um, ladies and gentlemen, Madam Chairperson, tonight I'm going to be speaking on the topic cell phones. Okay, I'll start over. I'll take over. Switch me. <laughs> 1984, the first cell phone was issued. Natalia, be nice, please. Do not think soon. Natalia wants another chance. Yes. So. Okay. So I'm going to give her the next topic. Yeah, I'll, I'll be good at that. The next topic is something. If you were to be given the opportunity to be the Prime Minister for one day, what would you do for your country? Okay. If you were given the chance to be the Prime Minister for one day, what, one day is a short period, eh? but you can, yeah, what would you do? Or what would you recommend?
you know, okay. It was a regular, a giant block, or a regular phone in your car, three dollars per minute. <laughs> oh wow! I remember those um when we had those first big phones. Yeah, we used to call them phone boots. When you have this big phone in your hand, this thick phone, and you take it out, people telling you you have a phone boot in your hand. Please go and lie down. Drink the water. Nitty, do not take the water and not doing that. Yes. Time up. Hold on. You're going to get your two minutes to speak. You ready? Mm -hmm. Start. Ladies and gentlemen, if I was Prime Minister, I would help people who... Okay. I would help people who are poor or who have educational problems and so and I would buy an iPhone for myself and then after that I would buy a new house, a beach house with Sony, my parents, maybe my brothers in the future and then after that I would help you my friends once you have subscribed and then after that I would go to St. Lucia to live then I help more people who have educational problems <laughs> <laughs> who are poor and stuff I give them a food I'll provide a homeless shelter then with the, then but after I'm that then after that okay. I would buy a new car for myself <laughs> and, then, and then after that I buy myself a beach house and then after the day look at the camera <laughs> And then after that, for the remaining hours, I would buy tons of ramen, have a movie night. Soon he would come over with mommy and daddy and matey and him. And then movie night, and then I get them ramen, and if they don't eat it, I eat it. Yeah, so that is what I would do if I was prime minister. And also, I would... For people who have educational difficulties, like if they can't afford it and thing, I would help them with that. But mostly the rest of it, what's the idea? Time up. <laughs> Guys, oh my gosh, I hope that is not what our present Prime Minister is doing. <laughs> you know, this Prime Minister is not even going to fix our road. <laughs> I was expecting to hear this Prime Minister saying that she's going to fix the road in Beckway. She was going to pay a lot of attention to Beckway, that she was going to put something there in writing. Yes, and make sure that it is um, passed and everything. Yeah, and we are going to get good roads. So Michael is saying, what happened to me? So you, once you become the Prime Minister, you will forget about me? <laughs> Once you are the Prime Minister, you won't have time to study cell phones. And the Beverly say you're a selfish Prime Minister. <laughs> How? I really I... hope that the Prime Ministers are not doing those How things. How am I a selfish Prime Minister? How? Yes. I said I would help the people in need. You're supposed to think about your country. You're supposed to think, if I am the Prime Minister, if I was given the opportunity to be the Prime Minister, you understand? In Beckway. I mean, for a day. And they told me, okay, I can't do the things, I can't implement them in a day. But they told me to give them things that this is what is to be done. Hey, first I put in, and I from Beckway, I study in Beckway. The road, right? Thank you, Beckway Kitty. The road in Beckway needs fixing. Oh, yeah. Our clinic, <laughs> we need the clinic removed from the community center and the portals we need the community center back because the young people need a place that they can call home they need a place where they can go and showcase their talent and all of that 
we also need to take care of the children who are traveling from Beckway to St. Vincent on a daily basis. Some parents are struggling, so we need the government to put something there that they will take care of the transportation costs for these children. Soon? Mm -hmm. So, no, pick out a random topic that comes to your mind and I'm sorry. We're going to deal with that the next time because we're going to deal with come as you are. You understand? Come as you are. Why is that? So, guys, those are some of the things that I would put into writing if I was given the opportunity to be the Prime Minister. Because if we notice, it seems like we are on the back seat <laughs> for a while. I mean, there are little things being done here and there, yes. But um, those are the things that I want to see. I need to get the community center back. I need the community center back. Last evening, we had a public speaking competition there. And we used the court house because that's where we keep our meeting. And we couldn't really seat a lot of people. Well, let's say the parents had turned out and all the members of the club had turned out. Then we would have been crammed. Anyhow, we recorded that, so I'm going to premiere that public speaking competition most likely sometime tomorrow evening. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so you guys are going to see what I'm talking about. Yes, yeah, so come as you are. Right? This is um, a topic, uh, this is something that you, we hear people talking about, like in terms of church especially. Like you go to church and... Uh, the young people need training in the skills that can turn into... Yes, that's true. Yes. We're going to touch a little bit and come as you are. Because I was listening... Well, this came up on my brother's... Um, what do you call it? Facebook Live on Thursday night. Yes. We... You know, come as you are. And when you say come as you are... Like some people, they are dressed in some way when you're going to church. You dress as if you're going to party and then you would say, well, the Bible says come as you are. Right? So I decided to research that come as you are. And what I found out is that the Bible basically didn't say come as you are. There's not a verse in the Bible that directly says, Come as you are. Right? Let me see what Michael says there. I think it's time that we have better schools in the Grenadines so that the kids don't have to travel those waters daily. Okay? Yes, okay, so that's the Prime Minister aspect. <laughs> I don't think... It seems like our topic is being changed. <laughs> Yes, but come as you are. So yes, um, <laughs> Miss Prime Minister Mean is only one that she has, so she's just taking care of her friends and herself. Yeah. So yes, let me see if somebody else says something there. Okay, the Bible says to render your heart and not your garment. Okay, to rend, rend your heart and not your garment. Okay. So yes, so come as you are. You know, sometimes um, we look at certain people dressed good, as, as I was saying earlier. And there are certain churches, certain churches that you would go to and... They will tell you you can't come in a pants, you can't dress this when you can't dress that way to come into the building, right? But then some people would say, the Bible says to come as you are. Nitty? Yeah, the Bible says to come as you are, right? But when I did my research, it's basically, it's not... Yes, Naya needs to stop it. It's not really um, 
it doesn't really have to do directly with the way that you're dressed. Nettie? Nettie? Yeah, I know you're playing. Yeah. Yeah, so in Matthew 11, 28, I was listening to a lady this evening talking about the same topic. And um, so they're saying that some people are using the commas you are, are they are misusing it, abusing it. Yes, when they are coming to church. But in Matthew 11, 28, is one of the verses that you can use when it refers to the commas you are. Nettie, that's a little bit too much noise. So come, um, Matthew 11, 28 says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Right? John 6 and 37 says, All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. Okay? And then 2 Corinthians 5 and 7 Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away, Nati. Behold, all things are become new. And Isaiah 1 18 says, Come now, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. Nati? Take your play in the bedroom for me, please. Yes, they shall be as they shall be like wool. So when he says, "Come as you are," I think I think um, Vortial girl would have um said something in a prior video where it's basically referring to whatever condition you are in. Yes, whatever condition you're in, you can. Go to church you can serve the almighty but if we're talking about the dress code and you're going to tell us well some people say come as you are but some churches would say no you can't come into my my church building dressed like that but let's say for example somebody dressed left home dressed to go to a party netting put away the pencils for me please well Yes, let's say somebody is dressed to go to a party or they're at a party and then uh, next door there's a crusade happening or there's a church service keeping and that person gets convicted, you know, and am I using the right word? Yeah, you know, the spirit convict them and they decide, boy, I think I'm going to get out of this party and I'm going to go into that church, right? Come as you are. I can see. Yes. And they're going to go to the church um, dressed like that. Then. Then yes. The, um, the pastor or whoever. They would have to accept you. Right. But if when you come as you are. Then you got to remember that when you come as you are. You're not going to. Stay as you are, and when you're leaving and you're going to come back, you're going to be different, basically. Because once you go, then it means that you're going to be repenting and you're going to be changing your lifestyle. So when you go back the next time, you are going to be going back with a different mindset. These days, uh, render your heart, render your garment and not your heart. <laughs> but even this, render your garment and render your heart and not your garment. I think it's basically rent your heart and not your garments. When um, David, what, what had happened when he basically um, poured out his heart? Yeah, poured out what was there. Right, that's what, that's what I'm saying. They should not be um, turned away. Because they are in that state and they come as you are, you understand? That is basically pertaining to somebody in that state. Uh, if we are in a sinful state, we can be properly dressed, but we are still, you know, miserable and stuff like that. We go as we are, expecting that when we get there, we are going to have a change in our lives. Because as I was saying, 
Um, in Isaiah 1 18, he says, Come now, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet. And you know, there are some people who like to think that um, your sin is bigger than my sin and stuff like that. Yeah. Yes, there's a song, there's songs like that as well. Yes. Some people like to think that your sin is bigger than mine and blah, 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 blah. You understand? But sin is sin. Yeah, so though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. So when we go, then we are supposed to come back out much better. Yeah, rend your heart and not your garment. Yeah, to rend and not render. Yeah, to rend. That is something that we have to, because that is the next thing that we hear saying. But look at it. I went to um, a church. I'm not going to say the church. They were practicing for a program. And I was going to do a, a performance. I was dressed in a nice dress pants, nothing tight, nice blouse. And I went, we were standing outside the church. And... Uh, one of the members came up to me and said, Sony, it was me and another person, Netty, said, Sony, you cannot come into the church in a pants. So I was like, what's wrong with my pants? I'm not wearing a tight pants. I'm not wearing a, a tight top. Nothing revealing or anything. But then when I look at the people in the church, some people were wearing some tight short skirts above their knees and stuff like that. And it was okay for them to go in that church using wearing that sort of cloth, clothing, which me in my nice cover up had to steal. Out. I didn't even go back. I didn't even go back for the rehearsal session. Trust me. I didn't go. But then again, I was I shared a link here where one lady was talking about that. She she made some some um, points where when you're dressing for work, right? If you're going to work, you don't dress as if you're going to party to go to work, right? Because some, your workplace may have a dress code or stuff like that. If you're going to a party, you don't see party people dressing in big frock and thing and going to parties. <laughs> so every, every um, place, I think, has its, dress code and I think once you're dressed modestly whether it's a pants or not or a dress I think um, that God is going to feel pleased yes you look respectable and everything yeah I'm not going to knock anybody for the, the way they're dressing but I'm just saying that um, there are times sometimes you can't differ differentiate in somebody's dress code if they're going to church or they're going to a party and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, but it seems like things have changed a bit there. It had this member of a church who will not let anyone on the podium if you're dressed in armpit or skirt too short. Okay. <laughs> I mean, sometimes, you know, when you are going on the pulpit or at, yeah, on the altar, and especially if you're going to worship lead and stuff like that, sometimes the dress code, it distracts you. Because if I go to a church and I see somebody dressed in a tight, you know, tight jeans, a female in a tight jeans and a sharp, a top reaching by the waist and everything, you know, and that sort of stuff, it does distract you <laughs> because you, you know, growing up in our culture, when... Well, with us in back, when we go to church, you see people well dressed in nice clothes, and then you're seeing um, this new style now with this jeans, tight jeans. And then sometimes when you look and you compare the male to the female, the males are properly dressed, but the females are bearing it. You know? <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Who cares how you dress unless you go to church in thongs? But I still believe in dressing respectably in the house of God. Yes. Some of these young ladies dress too. Yes, that is true. That is true. I don't mind you coming to church in a pants and stuff like that. No. But um yeah, if you wearing a, a tight, tight pants. Yeah, wear something on the top that at least covers. But yes, yeah, some does be too tight. Yes, that is true. And especially when you're up there worshiping and stuff like that. Next thing you hear, I I know um sometime I was somewhere and this young lady had on a tight pants and she go to bend and the bottom bus open. Right? Let me say they're on stage worship leading and they catch the spirit and thing and they jump. And you know somebody does take a dip and thing and next thing you hear the pants boss. What do you think happened there? Church turn upside down. In the sixties, we wore special clothing for it was special clothes for wearing to church and different clothes for going to party. But those young ladies going to church in the same clothes that they wear to party, exposing the body. Yeah, that is true. Trust me, sometimes you have no choice but to notice how some of them walk into the church. <laughs> yes, Jesus loved me, this I know. <laughs> I think, um, as Vivian was saying on the live, when we go to church and we see distraction, I think we have to close our eyes and lift our head up to the sky. I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence come at my help. <laughs> Some of the folks dress up to get the minister attention. Oh Lord Jesus, help me father. Next time I go to the kids church, I will take some pics. You will see how people dress in the rotten apple. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I noticed um, I saw the dress code. And sometimes people have an excuse for everything. Some of them you can't even walk up the stairs behind them. Yeah, that's true. Let me drink some water for now, Andy. Mm hmm. Yes. But as I say, I think some people may say when you go to the stores, right? Sometimes you go to these stores, you're seeing all sort of little pieces of clothing and stuff like that. So those are the things that are trending and they're wearing the party trend to the house of God. Yeah. <laughs> yes guys, I think um yeah. We are slowly coming to the end, but Natalia's Prime Minister thing is still in my head. <laughs> Yeah, Natalia Prime Minister thing is still in my head. You understand? And uh, I am praying because I notice y'all having plenty of rain. We not having rain. We had some rain last night. Yeah, that's that's true, Becky Kitty. But um if you're going on the on the altar, it distracts. It distracts um other people. Yeah, it distracts other people. But I was just um basically I just came up with a topic because it was something that was being said on Vivian's um Facebook page and it came up when the his live was coming to the end. So we basically were continuing from that here tonight. But I noticed um around the bluff area. Yeah, the bluff road they remove the surface of the other side so it's just stones and the entire thing and i see that they're looking i think they're looking and wondering what to do next because the road is basically has become narrow so i think they're wondering what to do next with that bluff road because when two vehicles are passing basically there's no space for pedestrians to walk in that area and 
when two vehicles are passing, it's like you have to hold your breath going around that corner. <laughs> yeah. Not only the females though, because some of these men pants and shorts so tight. If they walk up a stairs or bend too far over, the clothes will bust open. Oh, that is true, we. That is true. Not that I don't want to smile That is true. Yeah, the road, um, the road is narrow. So I notice um, they have removed the surface of the other side that they want fixing. And I think they are looking to see what to do next. I have to find out what is happening. <laughs> because the wall there, for those people who know better for Kival wall, it looks like they have to, if they take down that wall, the road will be good to go. But it's narrow for two vehicles to pass at the moment. Michael, I'm sure, plus all of the packages on this place. <laughs> but tell me all I can just watch them good boy. <laughs> Oy. Michael, I'm sure you can remember how your mom and other women in your community used to dress to go to church. But in back way, I just see some people watch. When you see Sunday morning come for church, I admire these people down here. Trust me. I admire people in Beckway when they go into church. Because Beckway is still keeping the nice, you know, the tradition of most people. You have a nice dress and you're going to church in Beckway. Yeah. The only thing that um, we are not seeing, I remember in my day growing up, my grandmother used to wear a hat. And sometimes we used to wear a little hat, but we are not wearing the hats anymore. But the dress, the church dressing and stuff like that is still good in Beckway. So big up Beckway people. Yes, the most um, people. Yes, we still know how to dress to go to church. In the old days, women used to... Yeah, women were required to wear their heads covered and the dress had to be around the ankles yeah i like long dresses sometimes i don't really like dressing up but when it comes to church yeah my mother and grandmother dress with this cloth below their knees yeah <laughs> yes guys so let me see i have 20 percent remaining in my phone so basically my phone is going to start slowing down just now. Yeah, so we basically am um, wrapping things up. I'm see, seeing that I'm speaking and I'm looking like I'm in slow motion, in slow motion there. So we are wrapping things up. So if you have any questions, hey, what to do, right? On my community tab, I'm going to post something there. Okay, the competition yesterday was won by Clarice Thomas and second was Emalia James, third Sashara. Clarice basically won all categories. She won the impromptu, she won the um, prepared speech as well. But um, I will share those, those um, speeches. They, and let me tell you before, they didn't have a lot of time to, pre to prepare because we should have had this public speaking before but our sort of thing was happening that we didn't decide Ooh. Nettie <laughs> Nettie having his own playground over there yes um we didn't give them to we didn't um do the topics early but friday gone they said miss school is going to open soon so we had certain things planned this week because we planned the games evening. We had planned a hike to my Peggy, but because of Lemuel, and please continue to keep Lemuel in prayer, we postponed that hike to my Peggy because um, Lemuel wanted to see me. So I went to visit him in Kingston at the hospital. And then, so they said, okay, so let's do the public speaking. No, then I said, then we can do the public speaking on Friday. And they said, yes, miss. So right there, and then I asked them to give me topic that they would like to speak on. They gave the topic. So they basically had one week to prepare. 
they didn't have any coaching. And then when we got to the center, we realized that the podium, we thought it was in one of the rooms. The podium wasn't there, so we had to use table for them to put, to read this speech from. But for the first time, well, it's not our first public speaking, but for these children, it's the first. They did a good job on the, um, the research, the presentation. They need some help, but kudos to them. I know that they're going to be big and better. Clary should be representing the club in the national, I would say the inter-club um, public speaking competition coming up sometime soon. No, he's having his own little, um, he's playing with pencils and stuff like that down there, so, yeah. They must be saying old dresses for Old Testament and new dresses for New Testament. <laughs> yeah, Vivian boy, yeah. Yeah, that I, I think the wall has to be removed for you. Yeah. I think the wall, the wall needs to be removed. So yes, I, I was saying, um, the, what I'll do, if there is anything that you guys would like to find out that's happening in Beckway, I'll make a post on my community link on my comment tab so you can put your questions there and I'll see how best we can address them if you have any concern. Uh, if you don't want to put it there for people to know, <laughs> you can um, inbox me either, either on Instagram, Natalie nearly shoved on everything, the boy, either on Instagram or on my Facebook page. You want Nati to sing a song? Nati was singing earlier. Nati, you want to sing a song to end the, the live? Um, come, come up here and sing the song yeah, for them. Um, come. Yeah, we're going to sign off. Nati was singing earlier. Michael, you probably missed that. But um, you can go back to the... Truth is the best one. Truth is the best. Don't sing and don't God. It's happy today for people at the kingdom. They're sleeping to God. And the kingdom is back today. So we can come back. A fool, a fool, a fool, a fool, a fool, very good, Nati. So that's Nati's composition, own composition, originality. He gets points for that. And you notice he has his own tune and everything. So give Nati a round of applause. Talking about pencil, I love those things that I collected from you, especially the bangle. Thanks again. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, I remember on the beach you said you like those sort of stuff, but that was already in the bag. But now I know what you guys like. Yes. And I'm going to, well, I can't see it. <laughs> I can't see what I'm going to do. Yeah. I heard something not too flattering about the Easter regatta. I have to talk to you about it on Facebook. Yes. Good night, Good night Vivian. Yes, we are wrapping up. Yes, Nate is really fun. <laughs> yes, Jeannie, I remember you have some for me as well. Yes, so yes, guys, as usual, enjoy the rest of your evening. And uh, remember to say a prayer for Lemuel, say a prayer for us. Yes, and um, let's continue to look out for our neighbors. And remember, these children are going to be heading back to the classrooms on Monday. So keep them in your prayer. Keep little Nate. Natalia has to be crossing the ocean, so please keep them all in your prayers. So until next time, remember, Natalia, you're not going to say goodnight? Oh, yes. <laughs> remember, we love you guys, and um, we are going to see you. Nate, you're so nice. Oh, before I go, let me tell you this. We miss it, Nate, you're miserable. But we were in Kingston on Tuesday after visiting Lemuel. And we were walking up 
and he pointed to the church, yes, the cathedral, and he was saying, Auntie Sony, I want to go in that church. I want to go in that church. So I was like, Nettie, we, we, we would go on next time because I wanted to go into the, um, we wanted to do like all the churches. We wanted to go to, into the Roman Catholic church as well. And we thought that we wouldn't have enough time. But anyways, I said, boy, let me give him the opportunity, yeah? Opportunity, yeah? Because you never know. So we went into the church. We did a little walk around. Yep. And then we said, let's pray for Lemuel. So we gathered and we asked Nati to join hands with us. And he said, no. He don't want to join hands with us. He don't want to pray with us. Anyhow, Natalia, hey Mika, big up to Mika. Mika is back with her granny. Yes, Natalia, we prayed. And at the end now, when we were about to get up, Nate, he was like, I was going to pray, I want to say my own prayer. So I said, okay, Nate, and you won't believe this child sat there, closed his eyes, and he prayed for his cousin Lemuel and Lemuel's mom, which is his aunt. And... I was totally shocked because at home when we say, Nati, come let me pray to For what? And this only no. But Nati prayed for Lemuel that day. Yes, so as Beverly said, let's keep everybody in prayer. And let's pray that we see each other again on our next live. Peace. Bye, guys. Yes, so until then, remember the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. So do have a blessed night and see you guys in our next live. Bye. Bye. I'm looking forward to my 5 a.m. Okay, yes, I have to wake up all in the morning <laughs> for church. So, good night, guys. See y'all next time. Bye. Yes, that's true. God listens to children. Good night. Bye. Bye, everybody. And you want this?